Welcome back East Tennessee. Listen, over the next couple of days, we've got about one more day of nice, beautiful, clear conditions. Saturday at this point is looking like at half and half, and then Sunday is likely going to be a bit of a messy day. But right now, when we look on the satellite radar, all we've got is a lot of cloud cover spreading throughout the eastern side of the U.S. We're going to be watching that storm system develop as we get through much of, to, well, really primarily tomorrow. And as we watch this storm develop, we're now looking at some greater severe potential as well. Still in the Arklatex region, but now we're seeing expand further into Mississippi and Western and Middle Tennessee, even dipping a bit further into parts of Western Nashville. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it. High pressure pretty much out of the way at this point. We're watching those storms develop and with that severe potential, they're expecting some gusty winds, hail, uh, large hail, maybe even tornadoes as well. But we really see that developing later in the daytime. So still a good bit of rain for air for us here in the morning because we see that primary round of rain that comes in during your Saturday morning, moving out of the way around noon or so. Then we watch the rest of those scattered storms and the frontal boundary rain develop. That's where the severe chances are really going to lie. Some of those storms coming ahead of the front may get into the bit of the plateau, but that starts to swing on through as we get into the late night hours of your Saturday. That's where that severe potential lies for people that are in plateau counties moves on through and weekends as it does a lot of it happening overnight into your Sunday morning. Sunday morning going to be a wet and rainy one. As we get to the evening time, we maybe could see something a little bit wintry. Now, the thing about that is we may still just be too warm at that point. Now here is a look at Sunday at 7 p.m. CD Knoxville only going to be at 43 degrees, but much cooler air is going to be sinking in behind that front. So in some of our higher elevations, it's going to really depend on how much of that cooler air has made it into the area and whether we're going to see any of that wintriness. But you see lows for the morning going to be in the lower 30s. But take a look at the seven day forecast really quick because behind that much cooler temperatures for the rest of the week until we rebound a bit later on.